back at the library's homepage, we're going to go back into databases by subject. This time we're going to go into one of the science collections. We'll say physical sciences and mathematics. There are a couple wonderful collections in here. Um, there is Science Direct is the name of this collection and, it, and the, pub, um, the uh, company that owns that is Elsevier. Um, this is a wonderful collection to search. It has lots of articles and not just on scientific terms. I mean it, it covers a lot of different types of topics. I found things in here about information literacy, which is my specialty. Um, it has things on life sciences, health sciences, um, social sciences, and humanities. So many different things, including psychology, accounting, etc., are covered in Science Direct. So it, it has a lot of full text in this collection. So I'm going to see if they actually have anything on Blackwater and Iraq and legal. This would be a wonderful collection again to search for an actual scientific topic like um, for a biology class or something like that but just to show you that it has more than just science in it the privatization of security lessons from Iraq so this looks really great it's from Orbis volume 50 issue 2 here's the PDF full text that's available you can go in and look at a preview of this article um, where it gives you the abstract and an article outline and some other information or you can go into the article. If you look over here, it gives you some other information, including uh, the, the different content types that are available, um, different journals that came out up with results for this to topic. And then instead of subjects, they have um, topic areas in this collection. So the topic areas don't look that helpful. Um, nonprofit organizations. So the subject terms in this collection aren't really as useful as they are um, in other collections. You can search on advanced search and this gives you some other places to, to um, limit your search to but you'll see that they don't allow you to search by subject terms in the same way in this collection as they let you search in the other collections that we've looked at besides JSTOR. Um, but at, at this point, after you've read the article, etc., you would go ahead and export the citation. And here's the link for exporting. So again, we're checking the box. We're hitting the Export Citation button. Here they're not making you go into a folder first. They, you can just do it automatically. And then it shows you that you can go directly into RefWorks. Again, it's going to launch RefWorks. last imported folder, checkbox, and then moving it into your 111 folder. So that is how you do it in ScienceDirect.